Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review. The My Pal pencil from the Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And when you purchase a pack of My Pals, they'll come in a uh, envelope like this, a cellophane envelope, see-through, and um, you'll get a dozen of them. And the, the My Pal is really a learning pencil. I consider it to be that. Um, this is a good starter pencil for uh, kids who are learning to write and learning to hold a writing instrument. Certainly, also a good option for people who might uh, have dexterity issues and maybe have a harder time holding a standard size pencil and something a little uh, larger might be more comfortable. Um, or you just might have a preference uh, to have a larger pencil. Uh, I'll tell you, actually, let me get out a couple of a few of these so that we can really look at the core of this pencil. I think you'll see um, that the core is large. Um, and there's no eraser on this pencil. So it's just wood and graphite. Um, and the cores are centered pretty good. There's a couple that are off a little bit, I can tell. Um, this one here on the end certainly looks a little out of center. Um, but the core as it compares to say a standard Musgrave pencil or even uh, another Musgrave round. Let me see if I've got one hand here. So here's a bugle, which is also made by Musgrave, a round pencil. There. You can see much, much smaller core. So not only is the, you know, the actual barrel larger, the core is larger here. So uh, these pencils are painted a dark navy blue with white lettering. Uh, My Pal, Shelbyville Pencil Company, Inc. Shelbyville, Tennessee, uh, 2020 is the uh, model number. And um, they, again, it is a round barrel. Now I did a video not too long ago on triangular learning pencils and there's a number of them that use a triangular shaped barrel and uh, you can see that video but this is a round barrel and reminds me too a little bit of a what I like to call a bowling pencil the kind of pencils that bowling alleys used to have for you to mark your bowling score with. Those never had erasers either because they didn't want people to erase scores, understandably. Um, but they were a larger pencil like this, although they might have been square or hex shaped, perhaps. Um, I, I, it, so many years ago, I can't remember. Anyways, um, I'm going to sharpen one and we'll get to writing. So I've sharpened uh, one of the My Pals and uh, it's sharpened very nicely. And it's, um, like I said, it's a heftier pencil and uh, round barrel. Again, no eraser, um, but a nice paint job and a nice imprint job uh, on the uh, on the side here and it again sharpened nicely so let's uh let me channel my inner first grader here and write with this 
Uh, this pencil is not graded. That is, uh, it's probably a number two or two-ish. Not sure, um, but it doesn't say. You can see the thicker line with this pencil pretty almost immediately. Fairly smooth. And it is, you know, um, I've held a beginner pencils that are larger than this. I actually think this feels about, maybe my first Ticonderoga might be slightly larger than this, um, but uh, it is a comfortable pencil, even for us big kids. And even though it does have a wider core, um, it still writes uh, fairly directly and um, uh, with some precision, which is nice. Let's uh, put a little of this graphite on our paper here. and give it the old smudgeroo. Well, not surprisingly, we have a little bit of a smudge drag here. Um, here's our points thus far. So it's wearing a little bit, but yeah. Um, and again, kind of what you'd expect, thicker core, softer, uh, darker, it has a little bit of a smudge. No eraser on here, so it assumes a few things. Um, either that you're not going to make mistakes or you're going to have a block eraser at the ready, which luckily for me is the case. So let's try a few different popular erasers and see how they do here. We'll try the Pentel eraser on it. Okay, does all right. Not, you know, not great. Pink Pearl. <sighs> Marginally better with the Pink Pearl. What else we got in here? Let's try our Mars plastic eraser. Okay, well, a little better yet, I'd say. Here's our Hartmuth natural rubber. Okay, uh, how about an art gum? And a Milan. I 
does a fairly decent job, doesn't it? Um, let's try a mini softy. Okay. And then how about a Faber Castell? Well, um, they all do a, an okay job. I would say that the core is not um, easily erasable because there's still some, some shadowing here on the page. Uh, so for erasability, uh, we're only gonna we're gonna give this a B B minus. Maybe that's to encourage the kids to be mindful of their of their writing. Um, let me put another little point on this. And we'll try some writing here. Yeah, it's a uh, comfortable pencil to write with. Okay, well, here we have it. Uh, so if you like a larger core, um, if you like a pretty much a standard 2HB 
a graphite core um, and a little uh, a larger barrel that is round. Um, even if you are not a beginning beginning your beginner writer, uh, this pencil might be a good choice for you. Sharpens nicely, comfortable to hold, and um, has a nice line that it leaves on the page. Thank you for spending some time with me as I took a look at this My Pal pencil from the Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time here on Always Analog.